we got the Specialized Enduro Elite 2017 model here. Uh, this was given to me from a friend to demo and I was going to review it. But it's quite small, so it's too small for me. I've ridden it a fair bit, but um, kind of pulled the pin on doing a review on it because I just can't ride it to its potential being that it's so small. It's got a 430 reach, it's a medium. That feels, yeah, it feels quite small. Uh, the bars are super low. The, uh, I've got really no room to come up and I don't have a spare handlebar to uh, to change to, to rise that up to make it a little bit more comfortable but uh, so I guess I'll just give it a mini review just my 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 thoughts so the recommended sag that this comes with so it's a Monarch Plus wasn't too bad in the back it was a little bit choppy but uh, not too bad the auto sag features not too bad but I was running a little bit higher than than what I was suggesting so for the auto sag it was actually setting me up at close to 40% sag so uh, I ignored that I went to 30% 32% it seemed to ride really really well uh, corners wise and geometry wise at around 32 33% so you know just you're talking about there with the with the uh, what I was actually doing is putting a bit of dust on the <coughs> on the shaft because it doesn't have a an o-ring to to tell you where the travel is so a little bit of dust on the top sit on it and it'll leave a mark and um, anyway so just over 30 percent it felt really good climbs okay uh, it's got a 76.5 degree seat angle which is excellent for climbing it's definitely what these bikes need it was too cramped for me being such a short bike it's a little bit uh, cramped for climbing but it's also got the command post and the where the clamp is it's offset back off of the post a little bit as you can see now if that was offset to the center of the well not offset and it was in the center of the post like most posts are it'd be an even better climber you'd be sitting up like I've obviously had to slam that seat all the way forward to that's the zero mark just there so got it in a good position for climbing not too bad pretty friendly I never had to touch the cheat switch the GX 11 speed worked great a little bit skeptical about these wheels so Reval Traverse uh, this front wheel has only got eight spokes on the non-drive side, 16 spokes on the drive side, so it's a 24-spoke wheel. To me, that's that's trouble. That's not good. So if you load that front wheel up on an angle, it's going to fold on you, and it'll just be a potato chip. So uh, not a lot of confidence in a set of wheels like that. The back is a 28 hole, so a little better, a little bit more evenly distributed. Uh, the SWAT. This is wicked. He's got so much gear in here. The bike's still super light. It's a full carbon frame, uh, carbon front, alloy rear. So he's got heaps of stuff here. He's got a tube in the bottom. He's got a pump. He's got a CO2. He's got all sorts of stuff in there. Uh, bottle cages killer. It came loose, so I fixed that up. Bit of Loctite and whatever. So that's all good. Uh, overall, super playful. Doesn't feel like a 170 bike. It's definitely not burly, heavy hitting, high speed 170 bike. It's a more playful agile uh it felt really really fun actually if i could get that front end up i probably would have just kept riding it and just you know treated it like a almost like a dirt jumper style bike you know like a, or a four cross style bike so pretty cool highlight the absolute highlight on this bike is these ht pedals <coughs> so even though you've got no room to put them in a crank trailer or whatever i don't think anyway uh this is easily best pedals I've stood on. So the AE05 Evos, Evo Plus. Uh, pins are threaded, but they're quite narrow. So they're a little bit narrower than the nuke proof pins and whatnot. So very impressed with that. Uh, it's a good concave setup. So the, the center is a little lower than the, than the edges and it feels excellent. It feels excellent to stand on, very secure, more secure than my nuke proofs. Uh, I'm gonna upgrade the pins on that new on those uh, on my new proofs to make them better. But yeah, these are excellent. These HTs are phenomenal. So if you're in the market, they're nice and narrow as well. So you look at them from the side, fairly narrow. Not an overly big platform. They're pretty cool. So yeah. Shout out to Rob. Let me borrow your bike. Cheers, man. Uh, I'm gonna do the debonair upgrade on this fork as well, which is pretty cool. They feel alright as it is, they've just been serviced, so 
Uh, I'll be interested to see how it feels with the debonair in. So as soon as that arrives, that's going in. I'll give another slap and then I'll give it back to Rob and he can, he can have some fun on it. Also, just another quick one. Uh, just fixing my friend's Cannondale here. So this is the Cannondale Trigger. I believe it's 2018 model. Um, carbon, 34s on the front. It's got the Gemini rear shot, Fox Float. Uh, super playful, wicked, wicked bike to jump around on. 27, 27 and a half wheels. Uh, XT at the back's okay. The, I think the cassette's a little bit worn. It has a little bit of trouble going from second to third. But other than that, it's flawless. It seems like there's maybe a little bit of a twist in the derailleur hanger, but it's not major. But riding it, once I got it all fixed up and, and uh, you know, did what I had to do with it, riding this bike, it is such a cool bike to ride. It's playful, it doesn't feel too small, it's a medium. Uh, it's actually almost a little bigger and a little more friendly than, than that to ride, a little bit bigger than that to ride, so. Killer bike, Cannondale are making wicked bikes. So I haven't ridden uh, Cannondale yet, this is the first one, I've, I've ridden the old ones, but which weren't really, uh, now, it didn't fill me with that much enthusiasm. This thing feels wicked. It's so playful. It's so. It just feels really good. So, uh, I reckon I'm going to start demoing some short travel bikes. So, that's kind of what I'm getting at here. I want to start demoing some shorter travel bikes, and uh, I think they're a lot of fun. So, get out on a, you know, 120, 140, something like that, and, uh, you know, do the, do the local parks and, and see how they go. But anyway, yeah, wicked little bike. Specialised enduro. I'm not going to do a full review of it because it's too small for me and I won't do it justice. Uh, anyway, thanks. Thanks, Rob. And uh, yeah, we're on.